And the tsunami's coming. Oh, we might need to raise altitude here. This is not good. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, what is it doing? That is so cool looking. Hold on, let's try to land down on the deck now. YouTube, Modal Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and today, we're going to be checking out this massive landing platform. Now, this was made by Rootin' Tootin' Cowboy, and you know what? This thing's got a little bit of a surprise on the inside. It's got a massive landing craft in here, and folks, we're going to put this thing to the test. So, we're going to launch it, we're going to go out to sea. Uh, we'll probably do a normal launch on the little landing craft on the inside and then we're gonna put this thing through its paces and then it's gonna probably turn into a sinking survival so if you guys are excited for some more stormworks on the channel you know what to do hit that thumbs up button and uh i think i need to figure out how to crank this thing up you know i always get really excited when root and toot and cowboy does uh creations because they're always really epic all right i see ignition there we oh is that it did it actually stay on huh let's try it again oh okay well uh we started something um okay let's try uh just doing the throttles up real quick okay have those going wait are we moving what what the heck okay there was like nothing to that uh we're already moving uh i'll take it oh no uh the uh hovercraft just or i guess you call it a hovercraft amphibious craft just uh smacked into the back of the uh ramp there this is fine but yeah, this is a very cool creation. It's got a lot of uses. You could uh, land helicopters on it. Uh, it's got even like a little crane here so you could pick up vehicles and put it on the inside. You can pretty much do any sort of like amphibious landing that you want here, uh, whether it be one big vehicle or a ton of small vehicles on the inside. All right, she's all cranked up, ready to go. We're gonna move out quite a ways. We wanna maybe do like a landing on an island. We could go back around to the other side of the creative island, but uh do we have a bigger island where's the really big island at that'd be like the perfect spot there we go that's a beach landing if i've ever seen one maybe right in this area so let's set a waypoint real quick uh is there a autopilot here oh here we go all right so we probably want to set the waypoint not on the beach let's go about right here and then let's input this in here there we go and autopilot is going to be on all right so the ship is gonna start turning itself, correct? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can see we're starting to swing to the left here. It's probably gonna take it a second, but yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll stop out there, we'll launch the big craft, go do a beach landing, and then maybe stuff's gonna get rough, and then we're gonna have to try to get back into the ship and get the heck out of here. This is gonna be cool. All right, so we can look around here a little bit, just kind of get a feel for what's all on the ship. So this is the main bridge area. Looks like you got several like little cameras. That's like a gun there. Uh, here's all your lights. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick and take a look on the outside. So yeah, I mean, it's just really a big platform, but of course it's got many uses, including this little uh, crane here. I haven't actually played with this one, but I don't know if there's a way, I guess everything's got to set in water there. So I don't know if there's a way to get this a little higher up out of the water. That way it's dry down there, but maybe that's not supposed to be like that. All right, where does this go? Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. So here's your ballast. So can we drain, fill? Okay, is this just all buttons? Oh yeah, so you could stabilize. Okay, I got this down. So yeah, you could adjust this fully and I guess uh, kind of set the water level in there too. Oh, that's awesome. Here, let's drain everything. Let's see how high this gets up out of the water. I don't know if there's anything actually to drain here. Uh, drain? Huh. I have to see kind of how this works, but that's definitely your, uh, I guess your ballast right there. All right, here's the deck lights. Let's go ahead and turn those on real quick. Uh, let's head further down. I don't think we want to set in there right now, but once we stabilize, I think we can go down into here and get back to the, uh, little craft back there. Also, real quick, to help this thing turn, I got an idea. What if I were to reverse the port throttle and then we keep the uh, other one up? Is this basically turning in place? Uh, I feel like it's probably going to turn a little bit sharper, right? Uh, No, it actually looks like we're Tokyo drifting right now. All right, let's keep both of those. Oh, it went back to forward by itself. 
Oh, okay. Uh, let's take this turning. No, yeah, we're definitely going sideways now. All right, let's keep both of those at full throttle. And uh, let's continue to turn here. Okay, well, while we're moving, we're going to go ahead and head down to the, uh, I guess, the little dock area here. And kind of check it out. Uh, we'll probably launch while it's moving. I don't see why we wouldn't do that. Haunts, open that real quick. Oh, that's a lot of running water. Uh, it's fine. I think the, uh, the craft in the back is actually, uh, kind of, oh, am I supposed to be down in this? Oh, this is off the side of the ship. That is, okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. I'm looking at it going, uh, am I supposed to be over here? No, I'm not. Okay, let's close that hatch. Let's not do that. Maybe we're supposed to go back here. All right, so here's the door. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock it real quick. We might have to make a jump for this because if I put this ramp down, I'm pretty sure this is going to try to slide out. Uh, let's go for it. All right, here we go. Ramp's going down. All right, let's go ahead and jump up in the craft. Oh, no. Okay, uh, we might need no clip and do this. Pretty sure you want to, like, stop before uh, actually launching something, at least of uh, this size. Okay, let's go into here. There we go. Uh, there's supposed to be water in here, right? All right, so here is the landing craft. Let's go ahead and turn its lights on. There we go. Spotlights, deck lights. Actually, let's turn those spotlights off. All right, everything's firing up. We are uh, good to launch here. We didn't actually slide out, which is a surprise. Now, I'm kind of curious. As soon as this thing goes out, is the water level on the ship going to go, like, way up? Because, yeah, I think it's... Oh, it, uh, it has a little bit of damage. This is fine. All right, so we are almost ready to go back. Do I need to put it in reverse, or is it ready to go? Uh, okay, I'm assuming I can just reverse it now. Oh, buddy. Uh, I think we're kind of stuck right now. Oh, and let's try inflating that, uh, I guess, the tube. Inflate skirt. All right. Oh, there it goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay, there's a chance we don't want to do that. All right, deflate skirt, please. Uh, we definitely hit the top of this thing. This was not smart to do while it was in motion. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it's, uh, oh, okay. We're bouncing off everything. Oh, this is fine, right? Um, yeah. That, I mean, and we launched it. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Oops. All right, uh, let's go cruise throttle up. All right, so that, oh, uh, I think we're sinking. <laughs> Hold on. Inflate the skirt. Is that going to help us? Okay, there we go. Why are we going this way? Uh, uh, <laughs> there's a chance that we have, we have a major malfunction here that uh, I wasn't intending for it to happen like this. Uh, it's fine. Can we go forward, please? Are we on, like, are we having, like, a reverse or something? Port side idle. Uh, I'm not sure what we're doing here. You know, I want to say this was not the way this was meant to function. Uh, we are going backwards right now in this, and our big ship is going that way. This is fine, right? Um, you know, a part of me wants to... Where is it going? I'm assuming it's still turning to get to its... Oh, yeah, it's almost uh, to its destination. That thing is wide, and it takes a little bit for it to turn, but it's going that way. I don't know where we're going. Uh, we're apparently traveling somewhere too. I I'm holding forward on the throttle. What about this? Does that stop this madness? Where are we going? Uh, okay, I'm holding for forward. Forward. Uh, up. Forward. Go. Um, there's a chance there's a something broken on this, and yeah. I feel like we're going back to crash into the ship. Uh, this is a uh, landing gone very, very wrong. Um... I want to get off this ride right now. There's a chance we should just go ahead and get back over to that. Uh, yeah. Well, you can see that it can launch. The launch wasn't pretty on my end, uh, but it definitely works. Komodo doesn't work very good. <laughs> We're just going backwards in this thing right now, but I have a feeling we busted something important and we don't have forward anymore. We just have reverse. So this is nice. Hi, ship. All right, well, that didn't work as uh, intended. So we got rid of the big landing craft in there. And you know what? We're just going to try to park this bad boy on it. And then we're going to put that thing through its paces. But I can assure you it does work. I just uh, did a very bad job. I think you really want to stop the craft instead of trying to launch something. Now, something smaller you could probably launch while in motion. But uh, something big like that, that was not a good idea on my part. 
So that's my bad, but we're going to get into this uh, nice VTOL here and we're going to fly and land on the deck. We'll crank it back up and uh, we'll maybe use this as an escape potentially. Okay, uh, main power is on. Let's see, cabin light mode. Let's go, there's our main lights there. Landing lights on. All right, we are looking good. Uh, we shouldn't need the parachute, at least hopefully not. Okay, so we are almost ready. What MFD things do we have here? Temps. Uh, you know what? It's fine. We just need the little map there. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's go and activate gimbal cam. Uh, let's see. Anything else we need to uh, activate here? I think we're good. Let's release the wheel brakes. And let's go ahead and lift here. All right. Oh, beautiful. So yeah, this is a VTOL. Of course, it's got the uh, two little engine modes. Hold on, let's go to an auto hover real quick. Boom. Uh, you've got the uh, two engine modes. Of course, you can tilt them forward uh, to go a lot faster. We don't need that quite yet. We might need it for the escape portion. Also, I'm not sure uh, what's going to keep this on that deck of the platform. The platform doesn't move very fast, so I'm assuming the brakes will work. And I think I saw some sort of like magnets on the side so i'm hoping this thing stays on i don't know if it's gonna be able to stay on during a storm though <laughs> we've had many ships that were going down and we've watched like our helicopter or our plane fly off the deck we're like well that was the way we were supposed to escape <laughs> so that might be a thing today all right here we go come on komodo you can land this all right we're gonna start to go down here uh, let's go to the left a little bit. Do we want to land it sideways? I guess we're going to land it straight forward here. So let's turn. Almost there. This is going to be beautiful. Uh, coming down. Let's try to get a little further up. I don't want to be too far to the back. All right. And we are going to land on the uh, platform here. All right. So we are good there. Let's go ahead and turn off auto hover. Uh, let's go ahead and engage the brakes. And let's come off the throttle here. Actually, we could probably just kill it. Uh, turn off the engine starter. Okay. I think we did it. I don't know what's going to keep it on. Oh, there's tethers here. Do we have ropes? Maybe there's ropes in the back. There probably is. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's grab rope. Yeah, we're just going to basically pin this bad boy down. Oh, this is a massive VTOL, by the way. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our rope here, and we got a rope anchor. Boom, and I saw... What's the... Wait, this is the nearest one, so let's go clunk. That's kind of like a leash. I don't know if it's going to work that well. I guess we can put one on each corner. The only problem is when you go to escape, you're going to have to undo these. Let's do one on that corner and maybe one on this corner up here. That would be uh, maybe wise. Okay, so let's go there and there. All right. Rope anchors are down. Brakes are set. Uh, let's hope she stays. <laughs> Is there any magols on the bottom? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I think we're good. All right. We are moving. She does appear to be rolling back a little bit, but that rope's going to eventually tighten, which it looks like it just did. It shouldn't move anymore. At least I don't think it's going to. All right. Well, it, it somewhat works, actually. Uh, there is... Are those connectors in the deck? There's a potential those are connectors, but I think it's going to be just fine here. All right, so we're going to move out a little ways, and then, you know what? We are going to crank up the... What is that over there? Is that the new hospital ship? By the way, there's been an update that adds a hospital ship, and is it marked? I don't think this one's marked. Yeah, there's like a hospital ship now that actually travels around, and you could take your... Uh... Oh, there it is. You can see it on the map. That's not it that we were seeing uh, out there. That must have been a normal AI boat. But yeah, there's a hospital boat now. Uh, that way you don't always have to take your victims to the, uh, say victims, that sounds horrible. That way you don't have to t always take the, uh, the people that are injured to the uh, islands. You can take them to boats now, which maybe we'll attempt that one day. All right, folks, it's time to put this thing through its paces. You know, it's so large, I really, uh-oh. Um, is our, uh, our helicopter trying to get lift here? <laughs> Wow, okay, so I think the uh, the winds are trying to knock it off the deck. Uh, we probably should have secured it a little more. You know, actually, I think it's good. So we could still use that thing to escape. Uh, we'll keep the railings up, and it looks like everything clears the deck, so we shouldn't get stuck to it. Uh, that's a good thing, right? Was there a parking brake on the back of that, by the way? I'm not sure if there was or wasn't. But by the way, this thing is just cutting through the waves. 
Like, no problem at all. I mean, I guess it's expected with something this wide and, like, big. Uh, okay. It's also really flat, and it doesn't stick really uh, high up out of the, uh, the water here, so that's also something pretty good. So I've just been sitting on the deck and just admiring what's happening here. Like, uh-oh. I think we're about to hit an AI ship. Yeah, this thing doesn't seem affected by waves at all. Like, sure, we could probably find a little bit bigger waves, but I really think we're going to be fine here. Uh, now, the AI ship, on the other hand, I don't think they're doing too good over there. Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> ah, he'll be fine. So, hmm, how do we up the ante here? Obviously, the ship isn't going down uh, with normal waves. I think our only option might be a tsunami to test this thing out. Uh, Root and Tootin's created a really awesome ship here. Uh, let's turn on some of the uh, the lights here. There we go. Uh, Got to get a little bit of light out here on the deck. All right, so look around. Which direction are the waves go? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so we got to throw some stuff at it. I think we're going to have to throw some megalodons at it, too. And it's the only way to make this any sort of survival here. And then we can try to escape via VTOL. Because, yeah, this is too awesome of a creation almost. So we're going to have a big issue here. What are the odds of this VTOL being able to stay aboard when that thing hits us? Uh, should we be warming it up? Uh, that's a good question. Also, where are the megalodons that have been spawned in? I don't see those. They typically kind of freak out whenever a tsunami is coming. Also, AI boat, you're going to totally get obliterated over there. Uh, okay, we should probably warm this up. Okay, get the, uh, get the rope anchors. Come on. Okay, grab this one. Okay. Uh, oh, geez. Uh, I don't feel like we're moving fast enough here. Okay, uh, go, 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 go. Uh, actually, backspace. There we go. That one's gone. Uh, let's disconnect this one real quick. Uh, so I think this would be the only option here. If you have like a massive tsunami coming at you, I mean, I guess you could ride it out in the ship, but we do not want to do that here today. So Hans head to the door. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that thing's coming. Uh, why is the door moving so slow now? Okay. Oh, the other one was open. All right. Uh, closed doors. There we go. Doors are closed. Let's go ahead and get into the pilot seat here. All right. We need to fire this bad boy back up. Engine starters are on. Uh-oh. Uh, engine throttle's up. Uh, why is this not cranking? Uh, oh, there it goes. Uh, oh. Oh, there goes the poor little AI boat. I kind of want to see him fling out the top. Okay. Uh, it's got a... Uh-oh. Um, that's a Megalodon coming this way. Okay, brace for impact. Uh, oh, there goes the poor little AI ship. They're launching off the top of the tsunami. Okay, here we go. Oh, we, I think we just got hit. Uh, okay. Uh, we're good. All right, come on. Throttle, 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 throttle. Uh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I think I'm stuck on the railing. Uh, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on, tilt away from the railing. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think we got the, uh, the left side is stuck on that side railing. That's why you can put those down. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. oh, I think we're good. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. On uh, lift, lift. Don't hit the tower. Oh, holy man. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. This wind is really bad. Hold on. We, let's go to auto hover. Boom. See if that'll help stabilize it. All right. So we have escaped the ship. The ship is getting pounded by uh, megalodons right now. And the tsunami's coming. Uh oh. We might need to raise altitude here. This is not good. Oh, go, 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 go. Uh, up. Up. Uh, we're racing it right now. Okay, and... Oh, there she goes. All right, so question is, are we going to be able to go back down and land on it? This might be kind of an unsinkable ship. Uh, okay, there it goes. Um, we need to climb. Okay, we should clear the top of the tsunami here. Oh, it's actually launching the ship right now. Like, it's going along with it. It looks like a surfboard. Okay, let's go to this side. All right. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, okay. Okay. <sighs> Ooh, wow, we almost got obliterated by that tsunami. Okay, so there goes the ship up. It's going to go off the top. It is riding it like a surfboard right now. That's incredible looking. Oh, uh, what is it doing? That is so cool looking. Hold on, let's try to land down on the deck now. We're going to try to land on the deck of a ship that's in a tsunami. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, turn it around. All right, it's about to poop out the back. 
It did nothing to it. It barely even looks like it's tilting. Oh, man. This is the unsinkable ship. Not even a tsunami can take it down. So, fun fact, even the Megalodon's hitting the side of it. Like, where's the water going to go? The, the side is hollow. Like, the whole inside's basically hollow, except for the very front of it. Uh, okay, let's come back down on the deck. This is an unsinkable ship. Now, as far as this helicopter, it's getting thrown around a little bit in the wind. On oh, Komodo's got to try to make the landing here. We got to let it stick. All right, here we go. There's some lightning. Okay, we're going to back back down. We got this. Uh, tilt it. Go forward a little bit. And oh, a little to the side. And here we go. And touchdown. Uh, okay. I think brakes are on. Let's go boom. Disengage engine. Okay, brakes are engaged. All right, let's get the heck out of here real quick. Do that. We did it. We landed. Uh, do we still have a rope? No, I don't have my rope with me, but I can attach another rope. Uh, what was the button back here? I feel like that might be useful. Actually, I think we're chasing down the tsunami. Uh, rope anchor. Oh, that's the ramp. Let's try maybe putting the ramp down. Maybe it'll stop it for a second. There we go. So this is going to be the one Stormworks episode where, you know what? Komodo managed to pull off a landing in the wind. Nothing bad actually happened. Even tsunamis and megalodons couldn't take down the ship. Wow. This is impressive. You guys should totally go check this out in the description. And you know what? We'll see you guys next time in Stormworks.